Hello, Bucks fans. Welcome back to Real Bucks Talk. In today's video, we're going to continue our position preview with the running backs and what can we expect from this Buccaneers rushing attack in 2024? How can they improve? What is the room going to look like with the new additions? And, and just what can we expect from Rashad White and company for this ground attack under new offensive coordinator Liam Cohen? And so with that being said, let's look at, you know, Rashad White, obviously coming into his third season, looks to, you know, trying to improve his numbers, especially from a yards per carry perspective, um, 3.7 average over two years, 3.6 last year, had almost, almost was first in, in attempts as far as rushing attempts. He was 200, he had 272 carries that was tied for second in the league. 990 yards, um, 3.6 average. So that number right there, that's something that I think the Buccaneers brass and company are trying to get better, trying to get this rushing attack more consistent where they can be more effective and just offer balance to the offense and give this offense a more dynamic version where you can utilize play action more, make Baker Mayfield job, his job easier as well. And just keep defenses, uh, you know, off balance and not allowing them to hone in on, you know, Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, et cetera. Um, but as far as Rashad White goes, continuing on with him, really good out of the backfield. So he provides that dynamic threat, whether it's running the football or catching the football out of the backfield. Had 64 catches last year, um, 8.6 average, three touchdowns, almost 600 yards. So really good numbers from that standpoint. Um, as you look at the multi-purpose yards, he was definitely over uh, a thousand yards there um, from scrimmage. So that is good, but you just want to see that continue evolution of his game, continue to grow, continue to get better in certain areas, being more decisive with the football when, especially when he's running. And I thought he definitely grew as the season went on, especially in Dave Canales' offense, but now shifting over to Liam Cohen, where there's going to be more pre-snap motion, more shifts, more variety and type and the types of runs that he likes to present. And when you look at, you know, Liam Cohen's offense, especially at Kentucky, his ground games were very effective. They averaged over four yards per carry. Now, granted, this is college. It's different in the NFL, but he showed a lot of good things, especially in the, the scheme and the formation, the creativity of how he ran the football. Um, and that is something that I would expect the Buccaneers to implement uh, coming into this season and try to get this ground game lifted and, and give it more life than it has over the last several seasons. And hopefully they can finish in the top 20 from a stats perspective when it comes to running the football instead of being near the bottom in the league. So that is Rashad White. I think he is definitely going to be elevated with this new scheme and the, and the offense as a whole. So I think that's a benefit for him. But they also drafted, when you go back to the depth chart, they've added a rookie to the mix, and that is Bucky Irving out of the fourth round. Uh, a little smaller in stature. He's five, you know, five eight, five nine, less than 200 pounds, but he's quick, shifty, can catch the football and can be a dynamic threat out of the backfield, whether that's running or catching um, as a running back. So kind of reminds very similar in how he plays to Rashad White, but I think Bucky is a little bit more kind of make you miss kind of style. Um, and then you have Chase Edmonds, who comes back as the veteran presence, can be a third down, uh, change of pace type of back. Um, and then Sean Tucker, um, you know, a second year player that's trying to find his way onto the roster and earn you know, some carries or playing time. So we'll see how that development goes. But as it stands right now, uh, the intention looks like it's going to be Rashad White, then Bucky Irving as the top backup with Chase Edmonds, you know, filling in here and there, given the pending situation, probably in, you know, two minute offense or what have you. But looking at Bucky and Irving stats, I mean, he was very effective in college, especially over the last two seasons at Oregon, averaging over six yards per carry, 1,000-yard uh, seasons in both years, and really showed just a good 
ability to make that first guy miss, um, catch the football, fight for extra yards, whether it's running or receiving, and seemed like a very, you know, do it all type of running back. I think the main thing that he's got to work on is finding ways to a get stronger if he can, and and find a way to be balanced um, as far as pass protection, so that way he can be a third down threat or a three down back at all times. I think that's important. And when you look at him here, just running the football, you can see the quickness, the shiftiness, the ability to get north and south very quickly. Uh, he can also win to the outside, but you can see he likes to take a direct path when presented and he finds ways to get those hidden yards. Um, if, if they're not presented right away, he finds that little crevice or hole to, you know, get the extra yards when it matters. And, and that does because it's, you know, every yard is very important in this game, especially at the NFL level. Uh, so a lot of lots of like with his ability. Um, and I think he's going to compliment Rashad white very well in the backfield. Just, you can use them both at the same time and, you know, have different looks and different variations of run games. So, that will be exciting to see how that works out. Um, but you can just see the the overall burst and acceleration that he has, and then also the toughness to fight for extra yards. And then out of the backfield, being able to catch the football and make plays that way, that's going to be exciting. So a lot to like from uh, Bucky Irving and what he can present to the Buccaneers offense. Give him, you know, just another playmaker back there. Also has ability to you know return kicks or do punt returns as well as far as special teams goes so that will be intriguing uh to to see how that all plays out but i want to play a quick video of rashad white just talking about the expectations for the running game and what he expects with liam cohen as the offensive coordinator we all put on it and what he started to mean off with is run game uh run game been bad bad here uh, for I don't know how many years now, but been a few years plus. So uh, that's our biggest emphasis. And with that, just efficiency. So we want to be well efficient. And then everything else going, you know, Mike, Chris, all our receivers going to keep doing what they're doing. And uh, running backs going to be an extension to that. But he put a great emphasis on run game here. Yeah, so there you have it. Just the emphasis on the running game. And I think that's very important. I, I know Rashad is looking to have that breakout season and really put his name as far as being – an X factor for this offense being a guy that defenses have to worry about when you face the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, uh, you know, a lot of defenses look first at, you know, Mike Evans and Chris Godwin and rightfully so, but you know, this rushing attack is, is ready, I think to get lifted off here and, and start making an impact and helping this offense become more balanced. And I think that is the primary goal for not only Rashad White and, and Bucky Irving and the rest of the running backs, but the goal of Liam Cohen and, and finding ways to, you know, attack defenses more than just the passing game. And I, I think the rushing attack definitely has everything it needs now, especially with the offensive line being improved with the upgrades that have been added, especially in free agency in the draft. And we'll see what Rashad White and company can, can do at running back. So it should be, a very uh, interesting group to watch throughout training camp and preseason and see how, you know, the carries and everything is going to shape out and, and get prepared for the, the upcoming season. So really excited about that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, be sure to hit the like button and comment down below your thoughts of the running back uh, room. What's your thoughts on Rashad white? Do you think he is going to be the feature back moving forward? Do you think Bucky Irving, is going to be a good complement to his game. How do you sh see it shaping out uh, for this season? And does this running game finally get back on track? I think that's a huge question going into uh, the regular season. But anyway, appreciate all the support. Let us know. And with that said, until the next one.